Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's up, Facebook viewer? This is your boy Dread. I'm back. Haven't hit you guys up with a video in about a good week and some change. And I'm going to hit you guys up with a few videos today. Starting with this one. I have not made a Nerd Talk vlog in quite some time, and I found the perfect one to do one about. And yes, this is going to be about our uh, beloved Marvel and DC characters. Our main characters are getting some distinct changes to them. And by that, I mean by their race, their background, their ethnicity, and hell, even their gender. And yes, this is, go this is confirmed that there is going to be a Lady Thor. Yes, a female Thor, a black Batman, and a black Captain America. Now, if you, I mean, are these really good changes? I mean, it's something fresh, it's something new, and it's something different. I mean, different is always good. I mean, come on, they're rebooting everything these days anyway. I mean, come on, Hollywood and all these comic book, you know, franchises, all these older franchises are starting to run out of ideas anyway, so I don't see why this wouldn't be a good look, why it wouldn't be a good idea. But, I mean, come on, I think Black Batman is a good idea from the jump. I mean, come on, I mean, Black ba Batman should have been black any goddamn way. I mean, a tall, dark, brooding character. Now, they can keep the um, now the background change. I don't, I don't know what change they're going to make to his um, background as far as his story, but they can keep the part where his parents got killed. They can, they can make his upbringing a little bit different. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I don't know if it'll be a little bit too racial, too stereotypical, but whatever. I mean, but come on, I've been a Batman fan since I was Jay hot since I was a tiny, tiny guy. I mean, come on. I'd have had, I'd have had all the Batman movies. Got, I'd have had tons of Batman action figures when I was little. Come on, I even got Batman draws for God's sakes. Don't judge me. But anyway, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a good idea to make Batman uh, a black guy. I mean, because come on, they already have Batwing, the African Batman. It's kind of like the mix of um, Iron Man and Batman. You know, I mean, that's a good idea to me. But um, we're gonna see what changes they make, not only just to the character, but to the character background. This is gonna be interesting to me. Now, as far as Lady Thor goes, the female Thor, we all know Thor as a, a masculine, hulking kind of character. That's what we know him as. We don't know Thor as feminine. But this might be a good idea, I mean, because it's different. It's a it's a change, but I don't know if it's going to translate. I mean, like, we all know, we all seen the Avengers. Hopefully, everybody has seen the Avengers by now. But in the new Avengers... Lady Thor, I mean, because if, if y'all, uh, I mean, because y'all know a Mjolnir, if Thor's main weapon is a hammer called Mjolnir, and you have to be pure of heart and a god to wield that weapon. And apparently, it's going to have the, the uh, female's going to take up that new identity. So we're going to see how this works out. Maybe you don't need to be a strong, burly, as guardian god like person to wield Thor's hammer. I think that's what we're going to see in this new comic book. But um, now, on to the Black Captain America. Now, we all know, now, Sam Wilson who is also known as Falcon in the original Avengers comics. And we all seen the live-action adaptation in uh, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. That was a dope-ass movie, by the way. But, um, yeah, I think this is a very good idea. I mean, to have a black man represent America, finally. I mean, because we all know Captain America, Superman and Captain America are pretty much the American-based superheroes. And to have a black man represent America in a superhero form, I think it's a very good idea. I mean, because... He's guard. He's got the um, the 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 character um, the character himself has a very good extension of military knowledge. He's got um, he's got all the smarts, all the know how's, all the physical gifts. But will he keep his um, Falcon like all all the Falcon gadgets and everything? Oh yeah, by the way, he's gonna be called Captain America too. I mean, because come on, just go just go back back to Batman for a second. Every character you know has an alternate identity. I mean, come on, Batman. He's like, I don't know how many characters have taken up the Batman, man. I think like five or six of them by now. Like some, you got Bruce Wayne, Terry McGinnis, you know, Batman Beyond. Um, even um, the Red Robin, which is uh, Tim Drake. And um, hell, even Nightwing, who, who, uh, or Dick Grayson, who's also known as later, later on as Nightwing. But yeah, he's going to be known as, uh, um, Sam Wilson's going to be known as Captain America number two. But um, to have him as a black man, I think it's a very good look. I mean, regardless, it's going to be good. It's going to be a fresh and um, new idea. But um, just to have him black is going to be a little bit of an ice on the cake to me. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up for you guys. This is Durs for Nerd Talk for today. Now, what do you guys think about the changes to these new superheroes? Do you think that it'll, for the, all right, for all my old school fans, you know, for me, for older, you know, people who grew up on these characters and who watched the old animated series and read the old comic books, do you think that this is kind of um, shunning and uh, kind of like downplaying like the classic ones? Or do you, I mean, do you think this will be able to beat the classics? All right, but anyway, tell me, guys, what do you think? Lady Thor, Black Cap, and Black Bats. All right, I'm out, y'all. Peace.